The following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and or themes that are not for people under the age of 13. Beware. Be prepared for some strong language and suitable for younger viewers. Previously on Big Brother, Paul's pizza day turns into a disaster. The kitchen's on fire. It was a stupid mistake and I'm sorry it won't happen again. On this episode, another housemates will be sent packing and housemates will be reviewed. Who knows? You decide. Welcome to the fourth eviction of Big Brother. And as always, we have been through another dramatic week in the house. We have seen Ruff getting removed, Dolly losing the duel that led to Dylan quitting the game, and there is also a disaster in the house in which Al almost burned the whole building to the ground. And how exactly? He was trying to cook pizza with his stove he somehow managed to steal from the storage room. What? That's crazy. Why would anyone try to burn the house down for leaving the stove on for two hours? Everyone could have been evacuated, but Jenny managed to stop the flames. Well, it's reality TV. It happens. I know, but did you see what happened in Biggie 237, or the pirated Cameroon version of Big Brother? The house almost caught on fire when a huge fireball blasted open. Coincidence? I think not. Okay, I get it. Let's just not waste time, and move on. But anyway, today we'll find out if either Mordecai, Hal, or Jenny becomes the next housemate to be evicted from the house. Well, that's pretty much it. Now, before the eviction, let's see the highlights from the house. Day 16. 9.39 AM. Chuck and Hal are in the kitchen. Hey, I'm really sorry about before, I was being stupid. It's okay. Dude, no harm done. Good thing the house is still intact. At least I'm relieved that the pizza still looks and tastes the same as how it was before the fire even happened. Uh, yeah, exactly. I learned how to cook it without even reading a book. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it. <coughs> oh my god, what did you just put in there? What? All I did was adding some green seasoning or whatever it is because I can't remember what it is. You put leaves on a pizza. What is wrong with you? That is disgusting. Where did you even get that from? The woods. Look, I'm sorry. That is the least I can do. Not again. What has Hal done this time? He tried to poison me by putting leaves on my pizza. No, oh, I didn't. Don't you dare lie to me again or I'll throw a fist at you. Chuck, don't. Violence is not the answer, all right? Just break it up. Oh boy. I guess Hal will be evicted from the house over this. Or will he? Let's find out now, as we head to the house. Hello housemates. In about the next few moments, we'll find out if either Mordecai, Hal, or Jenny becomes the next housemate to be evicted from the house. But in the meantime, let's head to Waldwick and hear the housemates' statements. Okay, so here we have the nominees who are waiting to find out if one of them will be given another chance to stay in the house. But before we reveal the results, let's have a little chat with them. Now, let's start with you. Could you tell me why you torched the kitchen? Well, I didn't really do that on purpose. It was an accident. I was cooking the pizza, putting it in a stove, then went to bed and slept for two hours straight. That's when Chuck woke me up and heard the smoke detector going off. If you haven't done anything to stop the fire, this would happen. Oh, come on, man! I didn't destroy the whole house! Well, yeah, but you could have at least used all your brain cells to cook something decent. Arguments aside, let's reveal the eviction results. Okay, 140 people have been voting on YouTube, and just four on Discord. You can barely see the Discord color on the chart. The total of eviction votes is 144. All right, once we uncover those silhouettes, one of them will be going home. But exactly who it is, I'm not sure. 
Oh boy, this is going to be an interesting one. But anyway, I can now reveal the house with the most votes, and sixty the evicted is. You are now evicted from the Big Brother house. Damn it. Well, Hal, you win. Well, Hal, you're damn lucky the viewers didn't vote you off. Mordecai, the viewers have spoken. Please leave the Big Brother house. Whoa, bye guys, especially you, Hal. You better not destroy the house again. Time. Good luck! Peace out, bro. Take your seat over there, I'll be there shortly. So, Mordecai was the next to go. We'll be back after the break, where I talk to him about how he became a housemate. BRB. Welcome back to Big Brother's Eviction Show. Despite Hal's punishment over the fire, Mordecai became the next housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house. So here he is now in the studio. So Mordecai, what are your thoughts on Hal's actions? Honestly, I think Hal should be the one evicted from the house and not me. Like, let's face it, he almost burned down the house, even poisoning Chuck by putting some weird tree leaves on his pizza. Nobody saw what Hal was doing. Well, yeah, although he wasn't as bad as his cousin Ruff was, he is way stupider than anyone else in the house. And no, don't get me started about the eviction rigging again. Nothing happened. Okay, then can you tell us how you became a housemate in the first place? Well, long story short, I was watching Big Brother and then saw this promotion for a second season. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't know they were getting another season so fast. Well, yeah, I entered the auditions and then asked Rigby, hey dude, want to be in a reality show? And then he said, nah, because I might be evicted anyway. And then, boomio, I got into the house and, well, that's pretty much it. I just had to enjoy my life there. Too bad, I only got evicted after a few weeks in the house, but still, oh, well, I guess I'll be returning to presenting Boomerang Days next week. Exactly. Well, thanks again for this interview. Anyway, that's the end of today's Big Brother. But before we leave, I just want to announce that next Monday will be the beginning of a special week in the Big Brother house, which will see a new housemate, plenty of drama, and crazy bombshell twists. Exactly who the new housemate is going to be. Well, keep watching G4P TV and find out who moves into the house. Keep in mind that this new housemate will be a savage who is promising to change the other housemates' lives forever. So, stay tuned. Anyway, we'll see you next Monday with the next Powerhouse Mate Challenge and the duel. Goodbye.